breaking news. We have a griefer, a treater, a tryhard, and we're going to go over the evidence that I gathered on why this guy is cheating, and I have proof. It's on camera. Boss was talking to my friends and associates, have them watch this video as well, and we figured that this guy has an on and off switch for his god mode. That's how he's doing it, because he's been killing people left and right. Others have tried to kill him. No one's been able to kill him, but you will notice he will die, and I find that odd. We're going to cover all that. So my friend Hefty put a bounty on him. There's a reason why we do that. We don't care about the bounties, but there's a reason why we do that. As you can see, Undo Coyote is killing. So I'm going to head over do some recon. I'm going to go to this building. I've had plenty of battles on this building. I feel com confident. I'm just outside this range. No harm should come to me. Also bear in mind that when, I, when this happened, I'm going to pause it here. When this happened, I was super tired. It was late last night for me, and I was tired, so I wasn't my super agile self. That's okay, because I wanted to get recon, because I want to expose this guy for what he's doing, because he's the type that's taking the fun out of the game. These are the griefers, these are the modders, these are the cheaters that take the fun. We got new players that are trying to play, even older players that have come back to the game. They want to play, they want to have some fun, they want to relax. They don't need someone just shooting them through buildings through walls that's right spoiler alert that's what's going to happen and i'm going to talk you guys through it and show you what what went through my mind and what i saw and then you guys can make your own conclusions and comments and feel free to leave all the comments you want down below so we're gonna get some recon i'm just outside the guy's range i'm gonna look and see what we can do i'm gonna pause it again here in a second I get sights on him. I get shot on. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of weird that he found me that quick and he's ready for me. So that tells me that he's seeing something that I don't think he should be able to see. Because usually from here I can do some damage not to worry about getting shot. All right. Fine. He hit me. No big deal. We're going to create some distance. And look, he just died. What killed him? That's why I think he turned it off and on. To make you think, you know, that he's uh, not in God mode. And he kept on telling me, well, it's Xbox. It's Xbox. Ah, you can still mod. Go check out Borderlands or Call of Duty or any of them other games. Rainbow Six. See there? You heard that? Well, there goes. You saw that one bullet real quick. I don't think I could pause that and show that part again. But the bullets are flying right over my head. And from the angle of the building... That should be about three to five feet higher above my head. That's a little close to hit me, especially when I'm on the high ground. The whole thing like with uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin. Oh, no, don't do it, Anakin. I got the high ground. I got the high ground. Well, this time I have the high ground. He shouldn't be able to hit me, especially since I'm not peeking my head over. Those bullets should not be arcing over like that. And they're not even arcing. They're just going straight. So I'm going to create more distance. Let's look at this real quick. Let me pause it. So you can see where I'm at. I'm top of the roof. You see where he's at. So he's got the highway wall to worry about. He's got the highway. He's got the hill, the trees, the bushes, other little walls, sidewalk. And then you have my building. And here I'm going to move in a moment. I'm going to move to the other side of the building where I'm going to have more walls, thicker building, high ground yet again, and a couple trees and some bushes. Yeah. So we're going to go create some more distance. So I'm going to get on my presser and I'm going to go on the other side of the freaking building. Nothing should be able to hit me. Not rockets, not splash damage, none of that. Look at all that distance that I have. And look at all the obstacle he has to go through. And look where he's shooting from. Look at that angle. Remember this angle. This is going to come to play here very shortly. He's not really moving around. He's he's comfortable there. I find that odd. He's not trying to look for a better vantage point. And he's on the ground. Why is this guy out in the open? There, there goes another bullet. See, there goes two more. Three more bullets flying past me. Like I said, the way the headset is, it feels like it's happening. Like it went right by my ear. That's how it sounded. So I'm going to create some more distance. Look at all these little walls we have. More higher ground. He's on the low part of the hill. 
I got all kinds of trees, a building in the way with multiple walls. And here comes a big one. You're through to your garage. You, I got a big old uh, tree right there. That old tree, I don't know, big old tree. And blammo, look at that. Look at all that damage. Wow. Through the building. If that's not cheating, oh my god. And he mentioned that, oh, my internet's crappy. No, 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 no. I don't care how crappy your internet is. It doesn't give you god powers. It doesn't give you special human powers or special powers or special abilities. You don't become a superhero because your internet is crappy. No, the crappier your internet goes, anyone's played Halo or Call of Duty, the crappier your internet goes, the crappier you're going to play. You're going to reload multiple times. And nothing's going to get reloaded. You're going to pull the trigger. I don't know how many times. And no bullet's going to come out. Because you're lagging. It doesn't make you stronger or better. That's not how crappy internet works. And those that have had bad internet or, God forbid, had to have played video games when the weather's bad outside, you understand this. So, leave those comments below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Because this is, this is a huge topic. And I want to address it. So now I'm going to create more distance, more trees, more walls. Boom! And I get nailed right there. And as I was trying to say, now I have, I'm on the other side of the hill. So not only did I have the high ground, but now I have a hill in front of me. What? Six trees? Mixtures of trees and bushes, a wall, a building, and the angle? He's just going to shoot right through that? He's cheating. And now, at this point, he's going to look... And he's going to do something, because every time you kill somebody, a lot of times you check out their profile and look at them. He's going to see my KD is way higher than his. I bring that up because that's going to intimidate him, and mine's legit. And I have videos on how to do that. It's legit. And that's going to freak him out. Now he knows he's going to get caught. So now he's going to vamoose. Watch this. And he's so scared. He's just going to leave. He doesn't want to get busted. Booyah. And there you have it. He left. Just like that. He saw my KD. He knew he was in trouble. He knew I was going to get him because I can knock him out of God mode. And I do appreciate the people that made comments in the past about that. I appreciate that. A little shout out there. So he knows I'm going to come after him. So what does he do? He sends me a friend's request. That's going to make my life easier. So, let's go to the next footage. Be right back. Alright, here he is getting into his jet. So listen carefully because my friend is going to orbit him. And nothing's going to happen. So listen for it. This is what I saw on my end. There goes one. Did you hear it? Nothing happened to him. Nothing. It's almost as if it just went right through him. That makes me think he's in a god mode. Here comes another one. Listen. See? Nothing again. Okay, so now it's time to knock him out of God mode. So that's what we're working on. So he's going to get hit one more time, and it's going to succeed. So listen for it, and you'll get to see it. Because we think also, too, at this point, he flipped it off. He turned it off. Because he wants to make it look like he's not cheating. And he blames again. He blames that he's on Xbox, and you can't mod. And we mentioned before that, you know... Call of Duty, Borderlands, Rainbow Six, all kinds of modders, so it can happen. Boom! See? Got him. No more God mode. 
You're dead. Busted. You heard the sound. You saw the explosion. We can make this one. And at this point, you see him panicking around. He's going to be running in circles. He doesn't know what to do because he just got caught in God mode. Say so he's going to run one direction. He's going to turn around and walk a different direction. He is just panicking like crazy and doesn't know what to do. So, moving right along. Let's go to Hefty's bear, uh, Hefty Bear and see what he saw. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty. So Hefty and I are in the lobby. Like I said, he left the original lobby. And now we're going to see it through Hefty's view. Now he orbits them three times. So here goes the first one. Listen for it, as always. But you also get to watch too. See? Right there. Locked on, dead in sight. Nothing. I have never missed on a jet in the air. And neither has Hefty. That's just something that does not happen. So as you see, we got refunded. He thought we spent money. Like, no, and it's fake money, so we get all kinds of money. And it's fake. So that just tells me we're on to something here. He's getting that upset. Testing it, making sure it's locked on. Boom. Hmm. And this is what happens when someone's in God mode. You can just keep shooting them over and over and over. All right, third time's a charm. Testing it, yep, everything's working. All right, let's get another lock on. See, bah, I got him that time. See, got him out of God mode where he hit that switch to make it look legit. But we got him. So tell me what you guys think about that part. All right. And apparently he didn't notice this one. Because he's caught off guard. He's panicking. He knows he's screwed up. With your guys' help, we can expose him. So before he takes off, let's get him one more time for good measures. Because he's... Hopefully not able to get his god mode back on. So there he is again, flipping out. And booyah! Got him again. Gotta show it again, just for shits and giggles. Total ownage. So let's talk about his stats. We see how the strength is way down in the stealth and the mental. He was on foot. As he's on foot sniping, that's going to help his shooting. It's also going to help his stealth out. And then if you're running, that's going to help your stamina, your stamina and it's going to help your strength. So see how this is all one-sided? And notice his mental state's going up. He doesn't care. He's cheating. He boosted his stats because he cheated. He modded. He just like steroids, you just cheated. And there's your uh, more proof on top of that right there. So when I confronted him on being a cheater and scared, and he ran, this is also when he brought up that his uh, internet's for shit. And that's the kicker too. If your internet gets cut, you go back to your home screen, Maybe if you're lucky and you lose connection and reestablish, you'll go back to the campaign. No, this guy left and went right into another lobby because I was watching. Want to make sure I get the accurate information for you guys. So once he gets confronted on that part, 
He also mentioned that he was getting killed in the gang war. Again, if you're in the jet, up in the air in the mountains, there's no gang wars out there. Clearly another one of his little lies. And then he admitted by omission of guilt that he was lying about leaving, that it wasn't his connection. He wrote, the second time I left, because y'all been hiding in ghosts and facilities. No, we weren't hiding. We just got in the lobbies and orbit blast you and knocked you out of god mode quickly. And then the guilt gets to him so bad. Another, another omission by guilt is he also wrote, what can I say? I can't really prove myself anyways. So another mission of guilt to prove that he was lying and the, and the lies were just getting to him and he can't keep track of the lies. He wrote an omission. I'm wasting my time. Anything I say or trying something either way, I'm going to look bad. Right. Because when your hand is caught in the cookie drawer, there's no way you're going to get out of it. The damage is done, you did the crime, now you're going to pay the price. So yeah, there's nothing you can say because it looks bad either way. Why does it look bad? Because it is bad. You are fucking cheating. You're a fucking piece of shit cheater. And needs to get booted from Xbox. You're ruining the game for other people. That is bad. You're taking the fun out of it. The game is to see who could be the best criminal, not the best cheater. So knock it off. Go play Call of Duty or something. So, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear you guys' comments about this. And if you see this guy, make sure you report it and get him off the internet. You guys have a fantastic day. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want more videos like this, press the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.